everybody, it's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Thank you for joining me tonight. Welcome to my kitchen. We're ready to get started. Come on in. Now, um, this isn't a quick 15 minute meal. This meal is gonna take some time. So, I hope you're ready to spend some time with me because I'm certainly ready to spend some time with you on Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live here on Facebook. Hey, Kelvin, thank you, my cousin. Wow. Yes, yes. Sheena, thank you for being here with me. So, as I said in my commercial, it is one of my favorite meals, which is just a simple seared salmon. I've got a lemon aioli, and I've also got a secret dish on the side. Hey, Malifa! Oh my goodness. Thank you guys for being here tonight. Okay, so I've got the water boi boiling because I want to do um, a little sad dish. I'm trying to do right this year, y'all. I'm trying, and I need your help. Okay, so you see all this, all this lusciousness? Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I, I got to back away. I got to back away from the table. I got to back away from the starch, the rice, the pasta, and all of that. But I, I need to be able to do it in, in stages. So, <laughs> hey, Sonia. <laughs> the cousins are checking in tonight. Yes. All right. Here we are. Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. That's right. Now, you can also check out my website after the show at www.sugarpearlsonline.com all right now if you are checking into this show tonight i need you to grab another device and i need for you to go to youtube and subscribe to my channel which is sugar pearls that's it y'all S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. We don't want to get it mixed up with um, other Sugar Pearl stuff. But go there and subscribe and let people know that you're checking for me. Okay? Alright, so I got this water boiling. Uh, tonight's recipe, the seared salmon with the lemon aioli. And my secret ingredient tonight, which will be revealed in just a few minutes. Hey, Rochella, how you doing, boo? Rochella, I know that you're also, um, you, you've cut out some meats. I also have cut out some meats. Um, but I'm keeping my seafood, so fish and shrimp and all that stuff is still in my diet. This right here is going to be a go-to for you. So, let's get ready to get cooking. Good looking. Let's do it. I'm so excited for tonight's recipe. So, tonight I've got my water boiling because I've got a side. Now, I know I said I was going to cut out pasta, but I got lipstick on my teeth. Mmm. Anyway. <laughs> I got a little bit of ditalini, ditalini pasta, which is a really, it's so cute. Let me show you this ditalini pasta. So this is going to be my side dish. It makes me think that I'm not eating so much starch and carbs. But this ditalini is really just that. It's just a ditalini pasta. That's it. It's that small. So I'm going to add ooh, a little bit of that to my salted water. Salted water, you don't need to, when you're boiling your pasta, cooking your pasta, you don't need to add oil to it. All you need to do is add some salt so that it is as salty as the sea, as the Italians say. Um... But if you ever been to Myrtle Beach, boo, you want to get it that salty, okay? 
So I got a little bit of um, Ditalini pasta there. And for the main course, that that's going to cook away. It's doing just fine. I picked up from Harris Teeter today with my eBay card, honey. So it was on sale. I got a beautiful piece of salmon. Let me let me let you see that. This salmon is beautiful. And all I did was ask my fishmonger to, because they had the skin on, I just asked him to skin it for me, take the skin off. Um, and I'm going to season that up and we're, we're going to get ready to get eaten, boo. Alright, so let me toss this and get ready. Okay, so for my salmon, it's going to be really, really simple. Let me make sure my pasta is okay. I want it to stick. Salt in the water already for the pasta. I'm gonna do for the side. Um, I'm gonna do a vegetable side like some zucchini and and peppers and onions and stuff like that. But I'm also gonna do a um, macaroni salad with a little bit of chicken in it, just because I'm feeling like home. I want some chicken salad, so that's gonna be on my side as well. All right, I hope you're ready to spend some time, boo, because I'm going to spend some time with you. Ooh. Welcome, everybody. So for my salmon, all I'm going to do is, let me let you see what's going on here. Salmon, a little bit of olive oil on both sides. Get that rubbed in nice. Ooh, ooh, okay. Some Himalayan pink salt on both sides because I'm going to sear this. Now, a lot of people, when they're, when you're doing your salmon, don't over, don't overcook it. It only needs about four to five minutes for each side. And this thickness is just perfect. Look at that. Gorge. Gorge. Yes. So I've got that there. Let me wash my hands off. I'm going to add another little something here. Secret ingredient tonight going on with Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. www.sugarpearlsonline.com is my website. Also, uh, Sugar Pearls is my YouTube channel, so if you're on tonight, you need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel, boo. That's Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And on Instagram, yeah, I'm there too. I'm doing all the things. Yeah, Instagram at Sugar Pearls underscore online. So here I'm just making sure that my pasta is not sticking. I've got it in my little handy dandy boiler strainer thingy. Sit that there. And I just want to season. I'm, I use a little uh, Himalayan pink salt on my salmon. And I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to use my big knife tonight. Use that. Alright, cut that up, and, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll do that, okay. Put a little lemon juice on that salmon. It's a, one of my favorite salmon recipes with the lemon aioli that I'm doing, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm not throwing that away, I'm going to use that later. All right. All right. Ooh, that burns. And a little bit of, all I did was salt. I'm going to do a little bit of ginger paste. I got ginger paste there going, and I'm just going to put it on both sides 
of the salmon. I love the flavor of ginger. I want and hope that you will get um, accustomed to using different flavors with your meat. As I've said before, if you've been following Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen, you know, it, everything ain't got to be Laurie Salt, honey. Okay, so get you some different flavors and season, seasonings going in there, alright? So that's just a little salt, ginger paste, olive oil, ouch. Wash that off. A towel here. And my handy dandy complete seasoning from Badia. I'm just going to sprinkle that on there. Alright, on both sides. Season both sides of your meat, Chad. Get it on in there. Alright. I am so thankful and so happy that you decided to join me tonight. This is just mm -mm, good in the neighborhood. All right. Okay. So I've got that going. My pasta has come to a rolling boil. If you're just joining me, I'm also making for the side a hey, Lisa, hey, Tammy. Hey family, friends, thank y'all for just tuning in to a black girl's dream. Good food. Mm-hmm. I got some Zitellini pasta, which is really, really tiny. I'm going to show you. Because I got a hand hey, to that. And Leon, oh my gosh. Zitellini, it, it is really just that. It's... It's just a little teeny little ditalini pasta. All right. So I got my salmon going. I'm gonna set that to the side for just a second. All right, while the pasta is continuing to cook. Now, I got my griddle going. Oh. Ah! Sorry, technical error there. <laughs> hey! Oh, Sheila, thank you so much! And thank you, Keisha! Oh my god, my Stillman fam is tuning in. Lisa! Wow. Thank you, baby. I love you. You guys, like I said, you're, you're making a little black girl's dream come true. Right here from Lee County, Lynchburg, South Carolina. Yes. Where um we we know how to eat, honey, and and we, tonight we gonna make it a little bougie, yes, bad and bougie, uh, bad and bougie, uh, yeah, we okay, forget I did that, but we we gonna do some a little bougie tonight. So I have a secret ingredient tonight. If you watch my commercial, then you saw I have a secret ingredient. I'm gonna show that a little bit later on. But for right now, I've got my griddle, my big old griddle here, nice and hot. <laughs> Lucy, what's up, girl? Lynchburg in the house, St. John too. Mwah. Yes. <laughs> Y'all, let me tell you, I was trying to advertise um, what Sugar Pearls was going to be. This week, but let me tell you, honey, the the Zetas, the AKAs, the Deltas, y'all took over the timeline. Okay, and me just being a little me fi me up in this piece. I mean, I I had to I had to kind of work my way. Yeah, I, I had to work my way, so it wasn't a whole lot of room for a little, a little peon like me. <laughs> But tonight, I hope that you will be pleased. So, for for those of us that are starting some, starting up the new year, is that Nicolette? Nicolette Lathan? Oh my gosh! What's up, homie? Yes. For those of you that are here tonight and um, you want to start the new year off doing something that makes you feel good about yourself, um, for the next 
four or five weeks, I'm going to be doing uh, what I called a field and stream type broadcast. So field as in the greens and the vegetables from the field and the stream, which will be the fish and the fishes and seafood and all that stuff. Next week, I think I'm going to do a little octopus. Don't let the octopus scare you. Tonight, we're going to keep it simple. All right. I got I to gotta work you into it, boo. All right. I'm going to work you in. All right. So my Dittalini pasta is looking good. I'm going to do a little macaroni salad with some chunk chicken in there. And, ooh, this, this pan is, is feeling real good. So, I got a little olive oil on my pan. I'm going to do a side of veggie. Let me just, I, I'll just show you, okay? Here, here's what we got. Hold on. All right, so we've got some peppers and onions that I'm going to cut up in a little bit, as a matter of fact. Let me sit this over here while I uh, uh, uh. Hold, just hold on for that. So I've got my peppers, red, yellow, green, onions, red and yellow peppers and I've also got some zucchini here because I, I need the veggies in my life. This is a field and stream broadcast for the next four to five weeks because I, I might be killing it but y'all I, I gotta get right honey all right and inside this is some sun-dried tomato that's gonna go inside of my macaroni salad so yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to make a bad and bougie menu that's going to make your guests think that you went to culinary school or something, honey. Okay, so let me check on this pasta. Ooh, that Dittalini pasta. I'm going to turn that down. Stick that over there, wash off the hands. All right, are you ready for my secret ingredient tonight? All right, I'm ready to show you. So I hope you are ready. Here we go. Secret ingredient tonight is, ooh. So I uh, went to the grocery store after work today and found some inspiration, honey. And I came across some beautiful, beautiful bok choy. Bok choy, yes, <laughs> three bulbs of it. So we're, we're going to do some bok choy tonight. Now, I know. You're like, what is bok choy? Why is she doing it? That don't make no sense. Hey, Centrell. Hello, Shamika. Thank you guys for tuning in. This going to booze you to meal up. Bok choy tonight. Now, the thing with bok choy, you really need to make sure that it's clean. Because bok choy can get really sandy on the inside. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you. Hang on for one second, cause I'm, I'm gonna use my cutting board. Put that salmon right there. That salmon is gonna go on the griddle in just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Could not wait to eat tonight. I'm gonna do two of these bulbs. So for your bok choy, oh lord, don't let that pop on me. Oh, 
Well, I'll throw it away. Don't worry. Okay. And another one. Another one. Okay. All right. So you got your bok choy. I want to keep it intact. So I'm just going to slice down the middle there and slice down the middle here. I want to rinse these off real good in my strainer. I can take you with me. What, can I? I? I don't know. Can I? Let me see. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So get that rinse off with some cold water really inside of that root. I know it's hard to hear me when the water is running, so I'm going to try not to talk so much while the water is running. But what I want to do is rinse out the inside of this bok choy so that any sand that is inside, I'm going to get out. And I'm not going to over-season it either. I'll show you that in a minute. All right. So, let's rinse. I lost one. And lots of paper towel. Okay. So put that on in the paper towel. And all I'm doing is just kind of beating the water out of that. All right. So that I've got beautiful little bok choy like so. All right. All I'm going to do with this bok choy is season it very lightly with a little salt and um, some dressing, the dressing that I like from Aldi, and sear that, and it's, it's going to be wonderful. Trust me. Trust me. Go with me on this, okay? All right. Oh, my gosh. You guys. Now, ooh, sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Now, as I've said um, to folks just joining Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, if you are on my channel and you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go to Sugar Pearls. That's simply Sugar Pearls. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. Subscribe, like, share, send it out to people. And um, let them know that um, we cooking and eating good in the hood, boo. So I got a little bit of salt to draw, draw some of that moisture out of my bok choy. And I'm going to put this on at the same time that I put my salmon on. Now, for the salmon, this beautiful salmon that I had my fishmonger skin for me i don't like skinning fish i'm not very good at it so i'm like can you just skin it for me they'll do that if you ask them they will do it they love doing stuff like that okay and i seasoned it on both sides with a little salt olive oil and some badia complete seasoning all right i'm gonna sit that on the griddle i'm gonna put the bok choy on the griddle while i work on the macaroni salad all right are you ready oh and my vegetables I, I forgot about that hold on because i gotta i gotta do my veggies at the same time okay hold on that's why you're with me because i'm quirky and i i forget stuff and make mistakes and all that so let me let me get okay my vegetables see i I'm trying, y'all. I got my zucchini here with a little salt and some chili um, flakes. Salt, pepper on my peppers and onions. Okay? So, some of these peppers I left kind of a rough cut, but I'm going to slice them up just a little bit. Ooh, we. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. You're here. I'm here. It's a party. 
like we could have a party right now. All right, so I'm going to get this sliced up nice uh, because it's going to go on my griddle with my other vegetables as a little side. And you know, if, if you've watched any of my shows, you know that color is very important to me. I even dream in color. My dreams are not black and white, honey. They are color and they have a soundtrack. I have, I have a whole, yeah, soundtrack with my dreams. So, you know my food got to have some. Ugh. <laughs> All right, I'm just cutting, slicing. Just a, a rough julienne. I said julienne. Oh, my God. I'm legit ah! on these peppers. Now. Here we go. So I've got the, pardon me, I don't have a, um, a camera operator, so you stuck with me, boo. So I'm going to put some peppers right there, some onions right there, some bok choy. The piece de resistance, the salmon. Now, for the salmon, I like to do the high side down, so where it kind of raises up high. I put that side down first because I want it to sear. Nice and pretty. Ooh. Okay, I'm here. Don't you worry. I am right here, my love. Okay, so let me just show you what's happening. I know, right? Right? Okay. So on my griddle, I've got that turned all the way up because I want a nice little sear, little crust, little color. That sear, that color, that crust is actually bringing out more natural flavors that are already in your veggies and, and the food that's on the griddle. So um, that's why I do that. All right. So... Let me show you how I do my lemon aioli. Now, the lemon aioli ain't nothing but a, a bougie mayonnaise, honey. Okay? It really is, but for vegetables and fish, it really just kind of brightens everything up. So we're going to do that right now here we go okay okay all right so for my lemon aioli i've got my little bottle here to mix and my little glass bowl here we go oh monet hey ah! <laughs> thank you guys pamela 
Oh my God. Thank you guys so much for being here. Oh, Elena, my, my roommate, my work sis. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with the lemon aioli. So for the lemon aioli, <laughs> let, let me say hey to some people. <laughs> I know I'm trying to say hey to everybody. <laughs> it's impossible. But know that I love you for watching. Thank you so, so very much. Okay. For the lemon aioli, you're going to start with some mayonnaise. I like to start with Duke's. Can you hear me over this frying? Let me know. If, if you can't, then I'll adjust. Oh. Got a little mayonnaise. I'm not going to do a whole bunch. Normally, I like to make it as, like a big... A big helping of it, but I'm not going to do that tonight. <laughs> El Michelle, what's up? <laughs> so for your aioli, you need to start with mayonnaise. However much you want to make. I'm not going to do a whole lot tonight, right? Lord, don't let me burn nothing on this live chat. That's doing all right. That's doing all right. Okay. And you want some fresh lemon juice. I got some nice lemons here. Just gonna put it inside my little bougie lemon strainer. We bad and bougie tonight, boo. Put it on in there. I'm gonna stick my lemon on there too. Yep. I did. And garlic. This lemon aioli is so simple. A little olive oil. Where's my top? Here we go. Olive oil and garlic. Mayonnaise, fresh lemon, olive oil, garlic, a little salt to taste. And we in business. Yeah. Put that on in there. And stir it up. Honey, you got yourself a lemon aioli that even Gordon Ramsay would love. A little salt. A little pepper. I'm going to do a little garlic powder, not garlic salt, just a little bit of, ooh, oh my god, ooh, Oh, <clears throat> oh, boom, child, all I know is, I wish you were here for it. Time to flip my salmon. Flip that on over, leave it alone. All right. Oh. Ooh. And I 
did that without my glasses. <laughs> And give it in a good shake. And that's your lemon aioli. That, that's a nice, quick, easy, fresh sauce that you can put on everything, boo. Okay? Wash the hands. Because I'm I'm kind of a fanatic. So I, I gotta wash my hands. All right, so while that's going to work, I'm going to turn this down because I think that everything looks just about how I want it to look. Oh. I got to, let me show you what's happening on the griddle. Oh, okay. So that's all doing what it's supposed to do. The bok choy looks good. It didn't stay intact like I wanted it to, but it, it looks good. Okay. The salmon, I'm not even going to touch that anymore. It's just where I want it. And all I'm going to do for uh, the veggies is add... A little bit of balsamic vinaigrette I know I know honey let me tell you I just want to uh, uh, put that on there like that let it do what it do okay Everything is working for my good. Yes. I could eat some vegetables and nothing else, probably. But I'm, I'm going to eat some meat. All right. So let me, right now, my pasta is done. And all I'm going to do is get the water off of it. And I'm going to start to make my macaroni salad. Hang on. I'm going to let you watch this work. Let me know if anything burn, okay? Don't don't let nothing burn. Just keep watching. Keep watching, okay? I'm back. Just like that. Now i got to clean my stove. Because I'm, I'm a little anal. i got to make sure that's done. Yeah, this this recipe really um did not take it as much time as I thought it would. Got a nice clean stove. Got my pasta ready. <laughs> so I boiled a couple of eggs because the macaroni salad that I'm used to back in the day always had some good boiled eggs in it. All I'm going to do is just squeeze them on in there. That's it. I've got, what else do I have? Hold on. <laughs> some sun-dried tomato, which is going to add just a little bit of color and some bold sweetness. To my macaroni salad, I'm going to drop that in there. I may add more, but for right now, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'll do a little bit of Ditalini pasta. I'm not going to eat all that, so I don't need that much. Ugh. And some sweet cubes. Yes, honey. Cubes are the best. I know. 
when you go to these fancy grocery stores, sometimes they got what they call relish. Oh, Angel, thank you, boo. I know, I did a thing. I did a thing and I cut off all my hair again. So for those of you who know me, you know I can't stand no hair. And I tried to let it grow, but child, whatever. Whatever. So I'm going to put some cubes in there. And now I'm going to add some chicken. Just some regular old canned chicken. I'm going to strain the water off. Hold on. Something else that I'm gonna add that I want you to put into thank you Rhonda thank you <laughs> I want you to add some capers to your um, cupboard add some capers to your cupboard they're awesome all right so I got some capers here Let's get some of that water off and I'm gonna put some capers inside my Honey, I told you this was a bougie menu. Yes. Yes, it's good for you, but it's bougie. So, yes, capers are going inside the macaroni salad. <laughs> All right. So, I got that going. Where is my... That's not, that's not the mustard that I wanted, but I'm going to add just a little bit of Goulden's spicy mustard. That was about two tablespoons. And mix. Did, did you see that? Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. So the pasta that I'm using um, to do my macaroni salad is a teeny little... Ditalini pasta. Mmm. Because it makes me feel better. And makes me think that I'm not eating so much pasta. Got my eggs in there. Got my pickle cubes in there. My sweet pickles. A little bit of white chicken, little mustard, I need to taste, oh, and some um, sun-dried tomatoes, bougie all the way, I know, taste, good that's real good y'all be my help be my help so I don't eat all this stuff by myself honey am I done y'all this cannot be Oh my goodness. Mm. So for my veggies, yes, I've got, oh gosh. All right. Let me, let me give you another show. Salmon, veggies, all on one griddle. I'm going to drizzle it with some lemon aioli. Oh, my veggies. I put some lemons on there that I use for my aioli. I just put the lemons right on there and just kind of like that. Why? Because I'm bougie. Uh, with some zucchini. I got some, I sliced a little bok choy open, sliced it, cleaned it, put it on there. 
Oh my God, Coco, hey boo. <laughs> Hello, Tamika. You guys, this, this is dinner. This, this is it. I really did this in less than an hour. I can't believe that this is it. Let me, let me make sure this is, this is, this can't be it, right? There's no way that this was this easy. No way. Some macaroni salad, some salmon, and some vegetables? Really? Yes, and I only paid 20 bucks to make this menu. $20, I'm telling you. Probably less than $20, but that's all it... Good food doesn't have to break the bank. I'm telling you, I know it costs money to eat healthy. It does. Um, but when it comes to me eating good in the hood, I need to be make, making sure that, you know, I can eat on a budget also. <laughs> so this is, um, this is supper for me. So I'm going to plate this. I'm going to take a picture of it because I need to show you how awesome this is. Uh, yeah, the salmon does look good. Thank you, Angel. <laughs> Thank you. So the trick with your salmon, get your, your fish guy, fish woman, fishmonger, whomever they may be. Mm. Sorry. Sometimes it's a little cheaper when you get the skin on. Just to ask them to cut the skin off. They'll do it. What I like to do is ask them to cut the skin off first and then price it. Because the skin costs a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Yep, I sure do. So get them to do that. So we've got a delicious menu here for under 20 bucks. I could feed three people tonight but you know what <laughs> it's all about to be for me boo yes so i'm gonna go ahead and hey junior i'll go ahead and get it um plated up and then i need to take a picture of it with my old phone so hold on <sighs> sugar pearl studio kitchen live you guys are tuned in um you're here with me and it it really means a lot to me that you just like i always say tune in to a little country girl from lynchburg south carolina who's just cooking and eating really like i'm not teaching you how to cook like you know how to do this all right Sometimes it's just about stepping outside of your comfort zone, finding a new vegetable like bok choy. Bok choy. How many folks you know eat bok choy? I do. <laughs> something different, something new, something exciting to hit your palate. Try it. Try some different flavorings. Like I always say, everything. Oh, uh oh. There we go. Almost forgot my old password. Everything ain't got to be Laurie salt. Everything don't have to be battered and breaded. Just Kimberly Durant, thank you so much. Miss Wilson, if you're nasty. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, which, which brings to mind that if you are tuning in right now, you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel, people, which is Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. Go there, subscribe, share my channel, like it, because uh, if I... Get famous and blow up, honey. I'm taking you with me. So, subscribe. <laughs> also, my website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. 
and my Instagram channel is sugar pearls underscore online just like that all right so I'm going to get ready don't leave me just yet I ain't ready to go hold on I gotta find my camera first camera camera I need my glasses camera there we go okay so plating plating is essential it is absolutely essential so for plating let's get that salmon right there I'll, I'll let you see what I'm doing got the salmon on for your salmon you really only want to do about four to five minutes hey Dion Mwah. I love you cousin thank you for your salmon don't go over five minutes per side because then you're gonna have something that's gray and nasty and mushy and you don't want that four to five minutes for for salmon you don't have to overcook it all right let's get some veggies on here Ooh, chad when i tell you this thing is purdy p-u-r-d-y And that balsamic, mm, 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 mm. oh, sorry, appearance, Where, where's my towel, that, mean, that means a lot to me, you gotta have, you're cooking bok choy tomorrow, Sintra. <laughs> That's my homegirl. That's my baby girl from Stillman College right there, Centrell. You better cook some bok choy tomorrow. Make sure you, when you slice it, put it in the strainer in a bowl underneath and just get all that sand out. Some of it can be kind of sandy. All right, so just, just a little FYI there. All right, I'm going to go behind your head right here. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> and put my macaroni salad in here oh my goodness so i didn't make a new year's resolution i don't like new year's resolutions i know that i'm addicted to rice and pasta and all that jazz but i ain't ready to give it up so I made just a little bit of it with some teeny little ditalini pasta. Okay? And for your lemon aioli that we made with just a little fresh lemon juice, garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, shake, rattle and roll. And we're just going to... drizzle that on on there now because i love all things pretty i gotta put my little my basil that's still growing in my window y'all somebody call gordon ramsay for me and tell him that this girl done done it again. She did it again, Gordon. Come on. Oh my gosh. Bok choy, peppers, onions, uh, a little macaroni salad with a little bit of chicken in there, some sun dried tomatoes, some sweet pickles, mayonnaise. Uh, that's it. I ain't even put no salt in there. Didn't need it. I don't need more salt in my diet. I'm already taking high blood pressure pills. So, this will make my physician very happy. Some tomatoes that were also searing on top of the griddle there. And my salmon. Y'all ready to eat? That, <laughs> my cousin Antoinette is on it. Miss Paparazzi. She was like, don't forget to take a picture. I 
you reminded me because I forgot. All right, here we go. So we are going to taste and see. When you um, put that lemon that you used on top of the griddle and it sears and it gets that little, see that? That golden color. Ooh, those juices that come out. Put that on in there. Yes, honey. Put that on in there. And see, mm, when you don't overcook your salmon, it comes out nice and beautiful and flaky. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Four minutes and 13 seconds on each side. Don't do no more. 413. 413. Mm. This is just what I do. I cook, I eat, I try to have fun doing it. And you just happen to be along for the ride. So, thank you. I hope that you'll be joining me next week as I cook another meal. I'm not sure. Um, I saw some octopus today. I know. Don't let the octopus scare you. But I might be cooking it. Okay. Um, it's seafood for the next four or five weeks here. So tune in. We'll see what happens. Okay. Thanks again. I appreciate you for watching, and I hope that you'll like, subscribe, share, comment. It means the world more than you know. This is my therapy, so thank you. <laughs> Again, this is Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. I love you, and I hope you love me back. Bye.